I served um, six years in prison for drug trafficking. Some of y'all could probably relate to that. Some of y'all not looking at nobody in particular. Man, what you in here for? Assault. Assault? When you got here, was you lick it up? Yeah. Yeah, so they got a tape on you in that intake going wild. No. If I ask them people to run back your video, it's gonna just, you be, this is what they go, this is what I'm gonna see. I'm gonna just see you walking in, pleasant. <laughs> this is why I said, okay. Mm -mm. That's what, no, cause see, usually it comes like this. I don't give a shit, yo, yo, that, it ain't even me. It ain't even me, he put his hand on me first. <laughs> You know you one drink, and most people out there are one drink away from ending up in jail. I don't drink dark liquor at all. Don't drink dark liquor. If I'm gonna drink anything that I don't really drink, but if I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna drink a margarita. That's it. Nobody goes to jail on margarita. They sell you a pitcher or margarita. Do they sell you a pitcher of Hennessy? Hell no. <laughs> if you buy a pitcher of Hennessy, you going straight to prison. You gonna skip jail. You just gonna. Just wind up in prison. Like, man, how I get here? You drank a pitcher of Hennessy. <laughs> Dark liquor and attitude get your ass in trouble. So we coming out the club, my cousin talking loud, X, Y, and Z, and the officer says, hey, brother, hey, brother, can you lower your voice? Because he's being loud and belligerent. And we were, we were, you know what I'm saying? Because we happy. <laughs> my cousin want to stand right by the officer and talk shit. He say, hey, man. Don't tell me how to talk and how loud to talk and step towards the officer. The officer said, hey, hey, boy. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't take another step towards me. And I'm going to stun gun your ass. My cousin, man, on that liquor, hey, the hell you mean you're going to stun gun me? Margaritas. Margaritas. I got good understanding. I'm margarita. I slid down. I say, hey, stun gun. I mean, he's going to execute you, dog. He's he about to execute you. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> Execution is about to happen, son. My cousin, but I knew what happened. My cousin in the fraternity. And that man said, don't step towards him. And I know that's all my cousin heard was don't step. Because his response was, man, don't tell me not the goddamn step. I'll step all over this bitch. <laughs> as soon as he spun around, that man stun gunned his ass. <laughs> and what I'm mad about, my cousin gonna grab me. And now we both. I didn't fought a lot, I didn't have a lot of fights. You look at my face, I got all type of scars and scratches. I earned each and every last one of them. Now, I ain't never been bullied. I had a good mama, I had a good parent that said, hey, ain't no bullying in life for us, baby. You're gonna be too small to get bullied, you're gonna be tough. My mama grabbed me, I'm about, I'm about six, about six years old, I'm walking through the house. My mama grabbed me by my shirt. Hey boy, tell you something. Either you fight in the street or you fight me. I'm like, shit, what you heard, I'm six. <laughs> so, so you learn that you gonna fight. I never got bullet, man. Let me tell you a story. I'm at the basketball court. I mean, this dude get into it. I beat him up. His three brothers come back, jump on me, beat me up. I go home. I go home. I'm sitting on the couch. My mama walked in. Hey, boy, what's wrong with you? I say, um, these three boys jumped on me at the basketball court. You know what I'm saying? She said. Shit, they damn sure whooped your ass. Got you in here looking like Cuba Gooden Jr. <laughs> and Boys in the Hood after Ricky got killed. If you never saw the movie, that mean I had blood all over me. So, mama told my sister, hey, go get my purse. We about to go back down there. And I'm sitting there like this. I don't go back down there. <laughs> I just told you they jumping on people down there. I just told you that. My mama said, get your ass up, boy. You know how, how embarrassing it is to walk to a fight? with your mama and your sister. You don't even want to go, you walking slow. You want to bring your ass on. Get down, the mama say, point them out. <laughs> my mama got them boys together. Give me a little ignaz, but let me tell you something. You don't jump on my damn son. You want to fight my son, fight my son right now, one-on-one. -on -one. I was like that. <laughs> Five fights in one day? I told mom, I told mom, let me, let, me, let me talk to you, let me talk to you, let me talk to you. I told mom, hey, 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 I thought you was coming down here to fight. And she, I said, what is in your purse? Cause we gonna, we gonna need it. Whatever's in your purse, we gonna need it. My mom made me, she made me fight them boys. Made me fight them boys. I, um, I beat up two of them. 
and lost the third fight out of pure exhaustion. Don't nobody have no goddamn five fights in one day. 